Hey, Dana here, and welcome to Searching For, and this is Behind the Scenes. Now, remember that last video I, I showed you about the Robo, and because of the fact that I was lacking air, is because this is my, or this is the salt water unit, or the salt water hose is what they want to consider it, and this is the fresh water, and as you saw, you saw how this thing expanded. So it's got reserve air. It's it's designed as as reserve air. Uh, so you don't you know you're not taking air directly out of the robo because the robo by itself um, is not going to be able to supply you enough air. It's got to have a reserve uh, to keep keep that excess you know so it stays ahead, right? Well, that's the way this freshwater hose is designed. Now, if you're going to go in the salt water, you're not going to use this. Um, there has to be a tank, a side tank, that's going to give you reserve air because this does not expand. When you're breathing air out of here, you're breathing directly out of the robo. So, what I was thinking a while ago is well, to solve that problem for fresh water, is I can hook, I can hook this fresh water hose up to the uh, to the salt water hose because I want that extension. This is um, this is a total of 30 feet. Now what I can do in the fresh water is I can have this hooked up to me, and then it's just connected to this here. Um, now. What has to be done is you still got to, I still got to have the extension hose, which you saw me build up. That's going to be connected to here. Okay. And now this is going out to the robo, which is sitting in the water. Okay. Right. And then I can take, take this and plug it into here. Well, this is an American made and not a Asian made. So in those videos, you saw me making up adapters. So here's an American going into an American and now the Asian industrial can plug into that. So now I have this hose, no wet now, doggone it. And that's gonna be attached to my back, right? So that takes care of that. So now, if on the other side of the house, I need to use this in salt water, um, and of course I just added to this, all this is going to be is a reserve now. So take this connection off of here. It's still going to go in you now. That, that has to go to the extension. So I took the extension off. The extension is going to be connected to it's got to be connected to this here and then it's going to fill up now I don't know if I can wind wind this up and have it in a box and then it won't go flying all over the place it'll just expand to whatever it needs to and then you still have air I hadn't thought about that but what you're going to but for that again Gonna have to have an adapter. So we gotta go from it's gonna be a female. So American into here, and then we're gonna go with the Chinese industrial. Okay, so now we have we have the air coming from here that's going to the robo, coming out of the robo, and now because it's American male or American female, and I got American male on on this then now this is going to be connected to my back and then there we go we got robo air coming into here we actually have a we got the expansion hose which should give me enough air i don't know yet um and then of course this is coming to my back now remember on all of these when you're doing this you got to have filtration 
Okay, you just can't run air straight out of the robo into your mouth. You've got to have a moisture, a moisture receptor, and a particle receptor, at least five micron um, for that. And what they put in here is a charcoal and a small, well, if I can, it's strong enough, it's strong enough to get that out there. But there you go, because I had to build all those adapters. Ah, I got it. Okay, so what's in here is, this is filled with charcoal. It's got charcoal in it. Can you see that? Got charcoal in there. And then you've got a five, five micron five micron air filter or some sort of a and they say use that I see it's expanded so it's probably time to replace it um, and that's going to restrict your air too so you got to keep that in mind um, so that's your filtration on that one um, other hooker systems, American uh, American hooker system, uh, hooker systems um, have got regular water separator um, adapters, which I built um, for my other system, which I haven't got a compressor for because I couldn't find one enough with enough volume. And that's the thing; you need a tank to go along with that volume. Um, so. And then uh, some sort of a filter, like five five micron again, is is probably the way is the way to go. So with that said, um, and that's what I've shown you, is this we got this set up now um, with the adapter. Um, the other the other thing is. If you're using all these adapters, make sure you lock them. Make sure you have a way to lock them. Um, what I wound up doing is the hookah with the, comes with a little locking device. Three quarter inch PVC pipe. And I cut it in like, I think that's like a, a quarter depth. And then I cut it in the middle. So now, all I have to do, well, there you go. There's, <laughs> this, is, this is what you'll get um, if you go through um, Gator Gill. And that'll go right on here. With a little bit of, and now it won't unlock, right? Well, with my system, these don't have the locks. So again, what I did is I took some PVC pipe and I cut it and it'll fit right on there and lock. So make sure you have these all locked. Um, and I, again, I screwed up on the, that other valve, which you can open and close. And I didn't put a lock on it to make sure it wouldn't close. Um, in that, in that case, I wanted it to stay open. So there we are. That's how I feel we can use the, I can use the 75 feet of what's called salt water hose and hook it up to the fresh water hose because your fresh water hose is your reserve air. And until I can get a tank um, to do what I need to do, probably a one gallon tank is probably all you need. But we'll see we'll see down the road um it's still work in progress all right so thanks for watching if you like please give me a thumbs up please subscribe and share and we'll catch you on the next searching for behind the scenes and this is the adapting of the freshwater hose because it is a reserve air reserve to my salt water air hose.